All right, here's a progress report number two. I am done editing for the most part. I'll show you the finished product, sort of. Um, this is it. You see here, there's some line here. That's just the way I portioned the tunic and the chainmail underneath. It said it's going to be double sided, so even if you look inwards here you'll see that it's not going to be just the backs of the paper it's going to be textured here you see this white thing that's the ankle support that i've made it's inside the it's going to be white because um, it'll save some ink and it's inside the ankle so uh, let's see so this is the angle supports I've made. I don't know if th this is gonna work, but it's just a test. So, like I, in the large models I've made, I found that they often need angle support because that's where all the weight is put on, and they usually fall forwards or backwards without this angle support. So hopefully this will work. It might be tricky to build, but. Um, well, we'll see. I'll show you my progress when I try to build that. Um, I scaled these ankle supports so that they are just a tad smaller than the boot. If I show you the lines, here you can see the difference, the minute difference between the sizes. So that's how it's going to work. Everything is um, truncated so that I can attach it to each other easily. And what I mean by that is, for example, in this arm, um, let's see, um, I can't find that object, but you can see on this, this part, the, um, see it right there, it's, it's, this is how, I make the illusion that it is the arm connected through this arm belt. I figure because when it comes to papercraft and you want to put something inside something else, there often it's it's often that you'll f bump into imperfections made by the paper instead of the 3D model because you have to build it super perfect if you want to be able to um, put this arm into the band and actually have it fit so this way the way I'm doing this it'll achieve the illusion without making it without having you to build it completely perfectly to be able to do it I don't really care to simplify the polygons because this is gonna be big and I can just build through it and it'll look fine anyways um, here is oh, where the sword go oh, here's the sword the sword is um, originally the sheath does not have the inside hollowed so I had to hollow that manually and it was actually hollowing the sheath took most of my time because let's see if I can show you the sheath well anyways see if you look down here everything is connected vertically uh, let's see if I can show you better okay there you go the see it's I have to cut everything on the inside and have it match perfectly so that it'll sit right on top of the body of this blue part so the details I'm going to keep it all and it's gonna sit on the blue part and I'll show you the file that I used to uh, do that no okay I uh, okay well you get the idea you can see how it's hollowed here except for the tip there's a white part and that's going to be my reinforcements to um, basically reinforce the tip um, 
I'm doing this because I don't want to permanently attach the sheath and the sword onto my life-size link model because I want to be able to take it out and actually play with it and um, hold it and show people that I can indeed put the sword into the sheath. I think that'd be kind of cool. So this is the same exact model that I am editing. If it would load. Come on. Is it my downloads affecting it? No, no, I'm pause. Okay, there we go. Here, um, look at the hand. The, the hand wraps around the sword perfectly. And that should be uh it should be the same on this link too yeah see how his hand basically has no space to hold the sword um thinking of editing that but i'm going i'm going to try and build through it so so that i will have to physically move like after i build it the hand has no space to hold the sword so i'm gonna physically move like bend the finger outwards so that I can fit the sword handle into it and I'm gonna see hopefully that'll work well um, the way I'm gonna design the sword so that I can put it in and also take it out if I want to play with it is that this this tip here is going to be disconnected and um, uh, I haven't edited the sword yet but it's gonna be disattachable this nub here and you could insert it back in if you want to um, put it back onto the link model uh, I don't know how that's gonna work well I, I have an idea how, of how it'll work but I don't know if it actually is going to work until I try it okay that's most of my pre unfold talk often when I unfold I run into problems and I have to edit a little bit again it's just with a model this size you can't catch every single mistake that you may have until you actually try to unfold it so here is my unfolding process i'm um i i marked the edges where i want it cut i forgot this part and unfold